what's up my finalists it's miss fina d coming to you all from vina team and news once again congratulations to the goat simone biles and team usa the gymnastic team for doing their thing at the paris olympics now after they won gold simone posted four images this one right here followed by this one right here followed by another one and another one and she captioned the post lack of talent lazy olympic champions okay she was referring to a video her former teammate michaela skinner made in that now deleted video she said this besides simone i feel like the talent and the depth just isn't like what it used to be i, just, I don't understand i don't understand i mean obviously a lot of girls don't work as hard the girls just don't have the work ethic like and it's hard too because a safe sport like coaches can't get on athletes and they have to be really careful what they say, which in some ways is really good, but at the same time, to get to where you need to be in gymnastics, you do have to be, I feel like, a little aggressive and a little intense. Because I feel like, you know, Russia's not gonna be there, so they don't have to have the stress of Russia, and then what other teams really are there? I mean, there's a lot of teams that have gotten better and have gotten stronger, but I feel like no matter what, as long as we do a decent job, we'll be fine. Even just some of the other girls that fell twice, and still ending up in second place in the all around just kind of crazy to me she got dragged for that not only are you calling them lazy but then you're saying and even if they make it they don't have any competition now i'm playing their possibility and all of that so okay you're lazy but even if it looks like you worked hard and you got there and you win gold you're only winning gold because you don't have no competition like she got dragged so badly like i said she deleted the video and then she came back and said this i feel like a lot of you guys had misinterpreted or misunderstood exactly what i was meaning or had said so while michaela was eating her words the ladies were on tiktok having fun pretending to eat their gold medal anybody want to know what i would do if i didn't win I guess we'll never know. There Simone wrote her caption. You had responses from Angel Reese, Clockett, WNBA superstar, Chicago Sky. You have Michaela Maroney, who people were thinking it was her. Had to make it clear that it wasn't her. She wrote, it doesn't get more iconic than this. She effed around and found out for real. Feels like I need to apologize just to redeem my first name. Jordan Charles, and that's on period and then after all of this simone learned that she was blocked when she blocks simone and jordan charles posted this now more people left comments but i want to get to michaela video that she posted today i won't be reading all of the comments but when all of this happened michaela made that video calling the girls lazy and all of that she did release a statement apologizing statement been on the screen for a little bit now so go ahead and read that for yourself because i do want to get to michaela video her most recent video so let's get into it hey everyone um i sincerely hope that this topic wouldn't need to be revisited but unfortunately things have really gotten out of hand lately and it's one thing to disagree with me regarding something I have said or a point I was trying to make, but it's something else entirely when that turns into cyberbullying or even worse, um, watching people cheer on the bullying, which has led to threats of physical harm to me, my husband, and our daughter is disgusting. So please, at this point, I am just asking for it to just stop for the sake of my family because enough is enough so uh, why i'm here um is because about four weeks ago i made a comment about work ethic and what seems to be taking place with the rising generation to be totally clear i take a hundred percent responsibility for poorly articulating the point i was trying to make and the last thing I wanted was to cause harm or offend 
our U.S. Olympic team. I know these women are incredible, the very best of the best, and almost all of them are my former teammates who I have enjoyed very much cheering on the last few years. Um, I posted a video apology on Instagram, and I followed up with a written apology, and I sent individual messages to each of the women on the team only simone had responded and she told me that she was proud of me um you guys can imagine my surprise last week when i was celebrating our team winning gold just to see this brought up all over again by a caption on an instagram post if simone truly believes that i called our team lazy and lacking talent and if that's really how she feels i am really heartbroken over it but not just heartbroken because it isn't how i feel or even what i previously said but heartbroken because simone's latest post and others that followed it fueled another wave of hateful comments um dms articles um and emails hate that includes death threats to me my family and even my agent so um my family and my friends don't deserve to be caught in a crossfire here they've done nothing so to simone i am asking you directly and publicly to please put a stop to this please ask your followers to stop you have been an incredible champion for mental health awareness and a lot of people need your help now. We've been hurt and attacked in ways that I am certain you um, never intended. Um, your performance, the team's performance, and the Olympics in general should be a time that we support one another and lift each other and our country up. Um, I love our country and I love our team and I hope that we can move on and move forward and cheer on the rest of our teammates and our athletes together and after that michaela reposted a video in her instagram story and she wrote sharing this and then taking a break from social media again i'll be back soon i hope with a heart emoji simone was sleeping because simone woke up and she tweeted just woke up from a much needed nap and then she also posted this video right here and this image right here you know spending time with her family and living her life of course i do not agree with the death threats and everything else that michaela mentioned and the bullying and all of that this is the thing that people have to remember you do not get to tell someone that you hurt when they can move on from the hurt because Michaela feels like listen I apologize I did a video I posted about it then I send you a message then you responded you were very kind to me so why now basically I said sorry so why are you not moving on why did you have to bring it up it's clear that what she said really hurt her feelings and as the leader of her team she felt like she had to defend and stand up for not just herself, also for her girls. And then you know the history of everything you all have been through, the abuse and all of that. She's in a space where I'm not ever in my life going to allow anyone to bully me or talk down to me, especially my teammates. And in her eyes, I'm standing up for them. And that's what she was doing. Now, of course, like I said, I do not agree with anything else that's going on. And so you have the side where people are saying, well, why are you blaming Simone? You can't blame Simone for other people's behavior and all of that. I understand, yes, Simone's platform is bigger and all of that. I just think in Simone's eyes in that moment, she was just standing up for herself and for her friends. You said this about us. Now look at us now. But everything else that is happening outside of that, of course, people are passionate and sometimes they do go too far. So I do hope that all of that will stop.
And if Simone wants to come out and release any statement or anything like that, I will do a part two. Until then, I'm wishing all of you well and take care once again. Congratulations, ladies. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're ready to post it. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.